Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to talk about things that are alive and what kind of living things they are. So we're going to do a lesson together, but before we do the lesson, I want to let you and your parents know these are some books that you can read up on to learn more about living things. The first book is called, What Kind of Living Thing Is It? And we're going to talk about different categories of living things today. The next book that I recommend is called, Is It a Living Thing? And then the last book is, What's Alive? Now, let's go do a lesson together. Okay, so if you haven't already watched my video that talks about living versus non-living and doing that sort, be sure to do that before you do this activity. Today, we're going to sort living things into different categories. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. So I have a bunch of animals here. We will start with this guy. Do you know what this is? Yes, this is a snake. What category do you think the snake goes into? And I do have little pictures here that my daughter drew to give you little hints. Yes, so a, a snake is a reptile and reptiles are cold-blooded. So they warm up by going into the sun and they cool off by hiding under rocks when it's really hot. So let's say if the snake is in a desert, they have to control their body temperature by moving around. They also have scaly skin like a snake does. All right, let's look at our next animal. We've got here living a frog. And where do you think a frog goes? Is it a mammal, a bird, a fish, a reptile, or an amphibian? Hmm. Frogs are amphibians because they come out sometimes, right, to, on land or sit on rocks, but they lay their eggs in water and live in water as well. Usually their skin is moist. They are also cold-blooded. All right, let's take a look at our next animal. Oh gosh, what do we have here? Here's a black bear. I live in California and we have lots of black bears in our forest habitats. What do you think a black bear is? Is it a mammal, a bird, a fish, a reptile, or an amphibian? Hmm, well it has hair and its babies drink milk from its mom and it's got warm blood. Yes, it's a mammal. Just like we humans are mammals, right? Uh, we are warm blooded, we do have hair and we give milk to our babies, right? So we are mammals as well. Let's take a look here. How many of you have eaten? This is a salmon. Have you ever had salmon for dinner? Do you think salmon is a mammal, a bird, a fish, a reptile, or an amphibian? That's right, fish. And fish do not breathe through lungs like mammals do, right? Or like birds do. Fish have gills. That's how they breathe underwater. And fish lay eggs. And that's how their babies hatch. Just like reptiles and amphibians also lay eggs. And birds do too, right? But do mammals lay eggs? No. We give live births. All right, let's take a look. What else do we have here? Look at this heron. What do you think? Mammal, bird, fish, reptile, amphibian. Yeah, that's an easy one, that's a bird. All right, 
I'm gonna put that there so you can kind of see it better. Uh, let's see, we've got a hammerhead shark. Those are so cool, so cool looking. Have you guys ever seen one? Maybe in an aquarium before? What do you think, a mammal, a bird, fish, reptile or amphibian? That might be tricky, but it is considered a fish. Sharks are considered fish. They have gills, right? And they also lay eggs. All right, let's take a look at this critter. What do we have there? We have a sea turtle. And sea turtles are reptiles. They lay eggs, they have scaly skin, and they're cold-blooded. All right, what about this? Have you guys ever heard of a road runner? They live in the desert. What do you think? What category? Yeah, it's a bird. It's a bird. It has feathers, right, and a beak, and it lays eggs. All right, let's take a look at this animal. Yeah, that's a mountain lion. We have mountain lions here, right, in California. And mountain lions have fur. They give birth to their babies and they're warm blooded. So yep, definitely a mammal. We'll put him with a bear. All right, how about this critter? Yeah, that's a penguin. Penguins are birds. Oh, that's easy. Everyone sees the fins and the tail, right? And we know that fish have gills and lay eggs. It's definitely a fish. All right, a couple more. Now this one might be tricky. Do you know what this is? This is a salamander. Salamanders live in the water. That's a hint. Where do you think that goes? They're not fish. Salamanders are amphibians, just like frogs and toads. All right, we have two more. Two more, we've got this. That's a beaver, what do you guys think? Where should we put the beaver? Yeah, it has fur, it's warm blooded, it's a mammal for sure. And if you've ever gone to the beach, you may have seen this. This is a seagull. Do you think seagulls are mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, or amphibians? That's right, birds. All right. So you can do this activity if you find some, an if you've got some plastic little animals at home. Even if you don't have any animals, what you can do is you can look through magazines or newspapers and you can cut out animals and then sort them into the different categories. Remember, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Join me again, little scientists, for another science lesson real soon. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.